What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I got a big one here for you today. This is probably the most nervous I've ever been when it comes to making a video. In today's video, we are going to crack some slabs. So welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm Jason Carver. The point here is to take them out of the less valuable holder and cross them over to PSA where we'll get a lot more value for the card. Now I've never done this before, but I have been watching a ton of YouTube videos. I'm gonna be trying some different techniques today, some of the things that I've seen off of YouTube. We're gonna do a little trial and error to see what the best way is to crack a slab. Let's go. So I am gonna crack all of these here. And so what we got, we got a couple of LeBron James lower end rookie cards. These are just, like this is a GMA case. Uh, Vince Carter, LeBron Select, PSA 9, which um, anything in the SGC, I've submitted to SGC in the past, they are hard graders. So I'm hoping, I'm banking on the shot that a 9 or a 9.5 is going to cross over to potentially a BSA 10. PSA 10, hopefully. You know, not all of these are going to be 10s by any means, but, you know, if I can get a 9 or a 10, I'll take it all day. So I'm going to practice on this one. So this is actually a really nice looking card here. I submitted this one myself. Got an 8.5 from SGC. Now this card right here, I picked up in the baseball offseason, which for all of y'all that don't know, the offseason is a great time to buy your cards. I submitted an offer to this gentleman for $50. He accepted this card in a PSA 10 case is fetching like 275, I want to say. And then we got some Vince Carter here, an 8.5. And even if that just crosses over to a PSA 9, I'll be cool with that. Little Lisa Leslie right here. And then an Anthony Davis rookie card. All right, now what you're going to need here is a pretty big towel. And then we're going to try some different methods, like I mentioned. You will need a flathead screwdriver, scissors, um, this thing. And then I got these at Lowe's. This is a tile cutter. All right, let's get to work. Oh, man, guys, I am super nervous right here. So we're going to take this Michael Jordan card, and we're going to take the... And we're going to take the towel cutters. And from what I saw, what we're going to aim for is cracking right here. So kind of diagonally on the seam. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to go anywhere near the card. And I guess you also don't want to, like, go this way. But we'll see. All right, let's just get straight to it. Um, so I'm going to put this on the corner here. And then... Okay, other thing, you will want something over your eyes, so safety goggles, glasses, sunglasses, something like that. And then that's what this towel is here for too, so just to help from shards like going all over the place. Okay, definitely cracked pretty damn hard right there. Damn, that thing just, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so nervous. All right, I don't know if that was the best way to go about it, because now you have like this huge crack going down to the card. I'll put it up there. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Like when you get to a higher end card and you're like potentially putting like shards of super hard plastic around it. And then what the goal is here is you want to take the screwdriver long way. So you want to put it in like this, not like this. Do not put it in like that. And our goal here is to kind of pry it open. Okay, it's starting to separate a little bit. All right, definitely cracked right there. Okay. So it's coming apart right here. Okay, boom. And we're in. All right, so this was GMA case. Throw that to the side. You got like little shards all over the place here, so you want to be careful for the with those. Just try to put those to the side. And then I'm just gonna make sure there's no shards on the card. Oh, and there definitely is. Oh shit. Try to like 
carefully take that off. Okay, I think I did a pretty good job. All right, then we're just gonna flip this bad boy out. And bada bing, bada boom, we've got our card. All right, I would say overall that was a pretty easy way to go about it. Pretty nervous at first, but I think um, overall, I think I'll give it um, with these. It was super easy, like the thing just pulverized it. But I don't know if that was because it was a GMA case, if they're just super flimsy. I'd be interested to see what happens with a BGS case. These are huge cases here. Uh, but overall, I think I'll give it a 7.9 as far as how easy it was and the effectiveness. And it doesn't seem to have any damage on the card at all. Um, so I'm going to set that to the side. All right, so we got the card. I'm going to give it a little bit lower, actually. I'm going to give it like a 7.1. If you have a chromium-based card, if you got like a prism or select, something with a really glossy surface, because since this thing like pulverized this, like just with one shot, this thing had little shards of this all over the card. So I could I could see if you had like a high-end chromium based card, you would 1000% want to watch out for that. I don't know if it's just the way I hit it or what. Maybe we'll try it again and not do it in the corner. We'll go like from the side or something. But that one corner with the towel cutters, we're giving it a 7.1. All right, oh my God, man, the nerves right here. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this one. So number two, we're gonna take this right on the corner here, and we're gonna put it on the corner of the table and kind of just try to break it off right here. Uh, let me move the camera just a little bit, sorry guys. All right, so kind of right on the corner, I'm gonna press down here, and then I'm basically just gonna like try to push this thing down and break it. Oh yeah, that thing just, just dissolved right there, all over the floor, perfect. Okay, so this was pretty nice. So we got a nice little entry. We're gonna take this, shove it in there like before. I think that worked pretty well. Oh man, that just cracked straight up. All right, a little bit more. Oh, we're almost there. Oh my gosh, that was so easy. And the case is in pretty good shape. All right. With all the fake slabs going around right now, I wonder how easy it is to break into a BGS. All right, take that out. That was seriously so easy. I'm gonna give that one a 9.3. Damn, and this is a chromium based. So easy. Let's go to the next one. All right, next up we got SGC LeBron Select. Uh, let's go with this. Let's go with uh, tile cutters. And fuck, let's go like right here at the top. So last time we went from the side here and it fucking exploded. Granted, it was a GMA case and SGC is a lot thicker. But. Uh, I'm too nervous. I'm going to go from the side. Every, everything I've seen, people do it from the side, so I'm just going to stick with that. But instead of like shoving it way down here, I'm going to do just like the edge right there. All right, so I'm going to lock that in there. Cover this up. Three, two, one. Oh, man. That was like, um, I don't know if you guys have ever gotten your ears pierced where they like click the gun. That's like what it felt like. Super smooth. It didn't explode. So I think that is definitely a play right there. Don't shove it way the fuck over there. Just do like the tip right there so it doesn't fucking explode everywhere. Um, now SGC is way thicker than uh, GMA, but that's coming, oh my gosh, that's like sliding open like butter. Oh wow, that is so easy. Wow, boom. That was seriously so easy to open. All right, got the LeBron. Pop that baby out. Bada bing, bada boom. Number three, 
I think I think we learned a valuable lesson here, guys. Just the tip, okay? Remember that. Just the tip. That's what she said. Oh, and this is pretty interesting. The uh, tuxedo is actually just like a whatever you want to call this right here. I always thought it was kind of it was thicker, but it's definitely just a clear case, and then this. I'm taking this though, it's like a trophy. Yeah, I definitely think these are a good play right here. These tile cutters, and honestly, less than ten dollars at Lowe's. Um, so we're gonna do the DK Metcalf, and we're gonna go right here. So we'll see how that works. Uh, just to give it a shot, instead of the corner, we're gonna go here from the side. Don't ask me why, the other one worked perfectly fine, but I'm doing it for the clout right here, guys. All right, so we'll just go like that, cover them up. Three, two, one. All right, kinda just did the same thing. Broke off a little bit more than the last one. Uh, so we'll just try to, oh, I don't know if it gave us enough space to put this in here. Yeah, I can't get that in there. Uh, so we'll do the other edge the exact same way that we did the first time, just like that. Try not to do too much. It's a little hard because the way the case is shaped, it keeps wanting to shift in there. Ready? All right, let's see if we can get in there now. Dude, still can't get in there. Oh, like barely. We're gonna go one more, just for shits and gigs. All right, make sure to like this video. Oh man, that did something. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's what you wanna watch out for. Huge crack right there. Anytime you start cracking this, Super sketchy, but, oh damn, cracked all the way down there too, shit. All right, yeah, definitely would not recommend that. So, all right, don't crack it this way, go for the corners. That's pretty much what everyone else has said so far too, if you watch any of these other videos, but now you know, don't do that. I'll try to pry this off. Oh man, super sketchy. Super sketchy. I know it's not like a very valuable card, but still. All right, got that open, okay. So as long as you can get like this, like as long as you can get through here, then you can kind of pull it apart. But it's hard because it's in almost four pieces right now. There we go. Okay. All right. Damn, that did not go very smoothly. I don't know if we rated the last one, but I would definitely rate this one like a four, maybe less. Card doesn't seem to be damaged, so that's pretty good. I'll take a closer look at it, but let's move on to the next. All right, next up we're gonna do this Vince Carter BGS 8.5. So this is Vince Carter rookie card. This is by far the thickest case right here. So just in comparison, we got the BGS uh, SGC, which is gonna be the second thickest. And it's a little hard because this has a team bag over it, but a little hard to see, but the BGS is definitely way thicker than that. And in comparison to a PSA, It's like one and a half times thicker. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Michael. Michael, please. Please. <laughs> and to a GMA, I'd say one and a half times. All right. So for this one, I honestly feel like the best one is this thing on the corner, not going too deep on it. So that's what we're gonna go for. We're gonna go right here, right there with it, lock it in, cover it up. One, two, three. Oh, that didn't even crack, it slipped out. 
just scratch the hell out of it. Okay. Let's try that again. Put that in there. Try to hold it this time. One, two, three. Oh, wow. That's not even cracking. Damn. I just squeezed the shit out of those things and all it did was like put a dent in it. Fuck, I think we might have to put this whole thing in here. I'm gonna give it a shot again. All right, line that up. Hold it, one, two, three. Oh, it definitely cracked, but not like I wanted it to. That's what I'm saying. These cases are fucking thick. It's a thick ass case. Let's see if we can get this in here. Let's try to just see if we can like break it open here. Oh yeah. Just like chip it out. Let's see if that Nah, not even. Not even. Can't even pull it apart. Okay. Let's try the other side. Put, a little, put it in there a little deeper. One, two, three. Damn. Yo. Yo. This is an old ass BGS case. Back when they made, out, made them out of steel. Alright. We're going to put it in there. All the way. Get it right there in the corner. All the way in there. Here we go. One, two, three. God damn, man. Step away. Shake it out. I'm gonna come from the side here. I'm gonna come this way now. So we got a crack going right here. So I feel like, oh shit, no, we might have, hold on. So we got this crack going and this crack going. So I'm thinking if we cut it off right here, we might be able to lodge something in there. So we're gonna go right here. And the whole goal is to stay as far away from the card as possible. All right, I think that did it. Yeah, so there we go. And so now we got an opening, and that's all we're trying to do is we're trying to get that opening so that we can pry this. Just trying to get that opening so we can pry this open. And remember, stay away from that card with this, with this screwdriver here. Sorry, hit the camera. Oh damn, back piece fell off. So now the card's exposed. Pull this out. Let's go back this way. The good thing about BGS is they put the card in a protective sleeve. All right. So all I did right there is I just broke this top seal in hopes that I can just pull this thing apart. Damn, this thing is sealed up. All right, so this is all... I'm gonna pry that there, come down, and then just try to pop this. There we go. Shit. Whew. All right. So we got that, and we got the card. So BGS is. BGS does it a little bit different. They actually seal this card up. So that's why you need the scissors. So you get the scissors, cut that bad boy open. Be real careful, obviously. Don't go anywhere near the card. And then we can just slide that thing out. Bada bing, bada boom. Shit. Uh, I would say that was tough. BGS is definitely the toughest case to get into by far. This thing, like one of these is so thick right here. 
like not just even the side like look how thick that case is from the front of it let me grab another one look how thin the GMA case is compared to this BGS I think it's thick all right next up we got the Fernando Tatis Jr. SGC 9.5 and I honestly in my opinion a lot of 9.5s could potentially cross over to a PSA 10. SGC grades really hard. That's just my opinion. Do what you want with it. But this one, for some reason, I am so nervous about this one. Alright, so here we go. We're going to do the method. Kind of just a little bit in there. On the corner. Cover it up. One, two, three. Boom. That was pretty loud. Alright. Okay, so we got in there pretty good. Oh damn, pretty big crack down the back. All the way down there. Okay. We get the screwdriver. Pop that in there. Okay, this is coming. To, yeah, came off. So easy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, SGC. Pop that out. Boom. Got my fingerprints all over it, so I'll wipe that down. But there we go. I looked at a lot of these, a lot of PSA 10s, and I honestly think this can cross over. I think it has a really good shot. So we just took potentially a $50 card, crossed it over, uh, $15 grading fee. So we're in it for $65, and potentially right now we get $275 out of it. Not a bad play taking these SGC 9.5s and trying to cross them over. All right, here we go. We're going to crack that Anthony Davis. Come here right at the corner. Get a good grip on it. One, two, three. All right, got a pretty good crack there. Didn't separate, but looking pretty good so far. I think we'll just come up here. Same thing, not too far down on the card. And there we go. So some came off here. Uh, probably not enough to get in there. So I'm just going to kind of work on that same area this time. All right, got to crack. I think I'll come right up here. Try to stay as far away from the card as possible. Oh, damn. That just. So that's why you want safety goggles. A piece of this just shot across the room right here. Alright, so I think that's enough to work in. Yeah. And then we'll just try to pry this. Oh man, it's cracking. Try the back half here. Yeah, it doesn't want to separate here. Oh, damn. Hmm. I'm going to make another little crack over here. Maybe not. Damn. These BGS cases, man. Alrighty. One, two, three. Shit. Fuck. Look at that. Crack went all the way down here. Fuck. Let's see if we can get in there. That's separated a bit. Shit. The good thing with this is the card is protected, but damn, this thing is hard. There 
here we go. I'm just using this screwdriver to wedge in there to separate these two pieces. Seems to be working. But still, golly, let's see if we can just pull it out here. So I'm going to use this. There we go. Yeah, we got it. Woo! So we're going to resub that over to PSA, see what we can get. I'm thinking this is going to be a PSA 9, honestly. But going from a BGS 9 to a PSA 9 is huge. So I'm going to wrap this video up right here. I think we came to a conclusion. The definitive answer is tile cutters with the flathead screwdriver. Get yourself like a little towel to put over it, some safety goggles, um, some scissors if you're doing a BGS. But if you go from the side right here, don't put it all the way in there. But just try to crack that tip right there and then shove this in there and pop open the rest of it. That's the best way to crack open a slab. So if you found this video informational and helpful, please do me a favor. All you gotta do is hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. And I'm gonna be leaving a link in the description down below for everything that I use today. Until the next video, stay safe, get some good cards, and I'm out. Uh, so I'm gonna practice on this one. Oh, shit. So